Good afternoon, this is Bob Iacchino coming to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago talking energy futures. Let's talk crude oil up just under seven tenths of 1%. Brent crude actually lower the crude WT or the Brent crude WTI spread coming in by about 14%. Russian production was one of the reasons for the early sell-off. The rally we're seeing in WTI is part and parcel to the recovery that we saw from this morning's sell-off. Russian production was actually reported as being up last month prior to any sort of meetings with President Trump. Again, we have no public declaration that they talked about getting Russia's help with energy prices and specifically gasoline prices before the election. But Russian production is up above the agreed upon levels with Saudi Arabia, up near that 11 million barrel mark, which puts them again on top in terms of current production of world producers of crude oil. So that was one of the reasons for the early sell off that WTI recovered from. The EIA was another reason the refinery utilization figures fell again, showing less demand at the refinery level. In yesterday's EIA figures, we saw a surprise build, but that's not even the important part. That refinery utilization number dropped below 95, 94.3 now. That's now four weeks in a row of declines from the high of 97.5. I mentioned before that 97.5 recent high that we reached on refinery utilization was in the 93rd percentile of refinery utilization since the EIA kept records. So that showed a high demand, uh, a level of demand at the refinery point, but now that demand seems to be easing. But Saudi Arabia again proved how much effect they have on the crude oil market in a report. The kingdom reported they will not oversupply oil markets, according to a statement made by the energy minister to representatives of OPEC. And this counteracts the Donald Trump tweet that we saw about a month ago where he said he spoke to the king and the king agreed to increase production. Apparently they are not going to supply markets any further than their currently agreed upon levels, as well as not oversupplying if demand were to drop off. That caused uh, WTI to rally a little bit. Brent again got hit, but that brought that spread in. Usually that means WTI is either gonna fall or Brent is gonna rally. It's not gonna happen in this session, however. This is Bob Iacchino talking crude oil futures from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago.